Hi, and welcome to the Insights from Dr. Intimacy YouTube webcast with your host, Prophetess Lenine Hanaya, aka Dr. Intimacy, where I will be giving you an enlightening look into the naked truth about sex, relationships, and intimacy from a spirit, soul, body perspective. Thank you so much for joining today, and today I'm going to be continuing with my series on incubus and succubus sex demons and uh, I believe that we're actually in the the eighth session now it's really nine videos but uh, the last uh, segment seven was actually a two-part video so this is the eighth uh, segment the ninth video but the eighth session that we're having and I really really am excited now because I'm down to my favorite part of this study where we're actually going to start to talk about deliverance. You have a lot of information now and it's really important that before you talk about deliverance from anything, understanding your enemy is very important and that is why I spent so much time talking about the spirits, how they operate, what their purpose is, what their assignment is. And you, if you've watched all, uh, all eight videos so far, should have a really in-depth understanding now of what these spirits are all about, the, the urgency of getting delivered from them. And so now I'm actually going to give you the weapons that you need. I'm going to give you the deliverance formula that you need to walk in victory over these enemies that we've been studying together. And I want to start off by by reading a letter to you from my blog as I have said in sessions before this this topic of study came about because of the overwhelming response on my blog so I want to read an encouraging letter most of the the letters on the blog are sad they're people looking for help and deliverance but since we're going to be talking about deliverance in this segment and probably the next uh, segment or two We'll still be talking about deliverance. So let's start off with a very encouraging testimony that somebody left on the blog. Her name was Marie. And it says, I am so glad I found this blog. Dr. Intimacy, I am so glad you are putting this information out there to help set people free. I had so many of these experiences when I was a teen and in my 20s. I am now 35 and married to a Christian man and am completely free of this sexual possession and oppression. If you are experiencing this struggle, please know that you can be set free in Christ. Get a close personal relationship with Christ through prayer, fasting, the word, etc. Demons have to flee when you are following and claiming Christ. Pray that you will be an overcomer. Do not give in to the demons. Play Christian worship music. And in the hardest night hours or when they oppress you during the day, sing the lyrics out loud. Satan hates worship. Ask God to help you get this sin out of your life. Recently, one night, I sat on Facebook looking at MTV's pictures. I literally had a dream. I was looking at the same pictures. And the demons came into my home with fear and oppression, and I woke up <laughs> fear. The Lord showed me that even sitting willfully and continuing to look at pictures of our wicked culture invited the demons to torment my sleep. I woke up verbally rebuking Satan in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Be free. Our families, innocent children, and future generations depend on it. Marie. Wow. Marie, thank you so much for that testimony. I mean, I just got chills reading it because you are so on point with what you're talking about. Marie touched on, uh, if you watch segment um, seven, both of the videos from segment seven, she talks about several of the open doors that we discussed in segment seven. She talks about the fear. Uh, when those spirits came to visit her, they brought fear 
in oppression. One of the things that I talk about, they impregnate you with. And then she talked about some key factors in getting delivered, prayer, fasting, worship, music. She talked about looking at uh, pictures on MTV. Remember, I talked about that carnality being an open door. What a powerful testimony. But in all of that, she's telling you that she is free. She was heavily afflicted by these spirits, and now she is living in freedom, enjoying her life, enjoying her relationship with uh, with her creator, with her savior, uh, Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And that is what I want for you. That is what Marie wants for you. That is what we want for you. You know, I pray. I have a prayer partner and prayer partners that I pray with, and I pray over my viewers, over my blog visitors, the people that email me and Facebook me. I want you to know that I am praying for you. We are praying for you. We are touching and agreeing for your complete and total full deliverance from every demon of oppression, every sexual demon, every demon that they've implanted in you, just every oppressing force, period, so that you can have a testimony just like Marie. But I want you to be so encouraged because she's free and I'm free. These spirits used to oppress me, but I am also free. And so you can walk in victorious freedom from these spirits. So let's talk about it. Um, the steps to deliverance. And I actually have, um, there, there are about eight steps in here that I want to talk about. And it'll probably take a couple of sessions to go through this. But let's start. Now, the first thing that I want to do before I talk about the eight steps is I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Because as I'm going through the eight steps, you're going to hear me use the word abort or abortion as I'm going through the eight steps talking about aborting the seed of these spirits. I am talking about a spiritual abortion. I am not promoting or suggesting suggesting that anyone um, do anything physical to their bodies. I don't promote abortion. I don't condone it. Um, and, and so I'm not talking about a physical abortion. This is a spiritual issue that we're talking about. And when I use the word abortion, I'm talking about a spiritual abortion. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. I, I don't encourage anybody to hurt their child. I'm not saying that Satan got you pregnant and you need to kill the baby. Nothing crazy like that. Uh, I'm talking about spiritually aborting these seeds of these demonic activities that uh, these spirits come to impregnate you with. And they want these, uh, these seeds to grow in you. So let's look at step one. And again... In case you haven't seen it, um, please go back and look at all of the videos. It's so important. In all of the videos, I've been reading little portions of my book, The Spirits of Sexual Perversion, a reference book. This is a thick book. It's about 300 pages, so there's a lot of power in here. Um, but you can get this from my website, drintimacy.com. book is currently out of stock, but it should be with restocked in a couple of weeks. And what you want to do is just go ahead and buy a gift certificate on the website. You'll see the option on there to do that. Buy that gift certificate because what that is going to do is to ensure that you are actually notified before the public becomes aware that the book is available. So you'll get your copy first when you buy that gift certificate. Uh, and it's also going to help the book be uh, replenished more quickly. But, um, yeah, we're looking at this book, so let me start reading. There's a dedicated chapter in here, chapter 18, 15 pages covering this topic. A lot of power. Step one, you must renounce not only the incubus and succubus spirits that have entered into your life, but you must also renounce their works. You need to verbally destroy and renounce and murder everything that they have conceived within you and caused you to give birth to. If you fail to do this, they will always have access to you. This is done through declaring the blood of Yahshua and the word of God out loud. <clears throat> now, this is really important because a lot of people, uh, I read a letter from Trevor in, in session seven. He said he went to a deliverance session. Well, it's not enough just to cast out a demon or to break the oppression of a demon. You need to denounce also their works because 
for however long these spirits have been with you, they have trained and shaped and molded you in a certain way. And so even if you successfully cast the spirit out or you break the stronghold of the spirit, if their works are still operative in you, it keeps the door wide open for them to come right back. It's, it's as if you have flies in the house and you shoo all of the flies out of the house, but you leave the door wide open. Well, hello, they're going to come back in. And so you need to denounce the work of these spirits. You need to denounce every seed, murder every seed that they've planted in your life, every spirit that has attached themselves to you through these incubi attacks. And the way that you do that, really important thing that you want to do is take a dedicated communion okay and there's a really powerful article on my blog about the practice of communion and how it breaks sexual ties and um, <clears throat> you can actually I think there's a video on the YouTube channel about it too actually sexual blood covenants but also the article really goes into it and it's in the understanding intimacy series on the featured articles page but you want to take communion a dedicated communion to denounce the sexual covenant that you've made with these spirits and and all of their works so declare and plead the blood of Yahshua that is Jesus I call him by his original Hebrew name Yahshua but you you call however you're comfortable I just feel so much power when I say Yahshua so did, did, did declare the power and the authority of the blood of Yahshua to break the stronghold of these spirits, to cast them out of your life, out of your body, out of your mind, out of your home, but also to destroy all of their works. Uh, declare the word of scripture over them that, you know, this body is, is, is the temple of the living God of Yahweh. They cannot have your body. So you need to declare you are one, one spirit with him. Your, your body are members of Christ. That's what the scripture says. You are members of Christ. And so you need to declare all of that out loud, denounce them. You have no right to be here, no authority over my body. I, I do not invite you here. Go take Take all of your, your babies with you, <laughs> you know, just really, really, really verbally denouncing it with that practice of communion, taking the body and the blood of Yeshua to break all of those ties. Very powerful. And then number two, um, it says, depending on your level of bondage and what you are involved in sexually, it may take some time and effort to get complete deliverance. It is likely that after step one, you will have other encounters. If you do have an encounter with a night demon, immediately abort what they have planted in you. Think of it as taking a morning after pill. As in step one, this is all about verbal declaration of Yahweh's word and denouncing their works through the power of the blood of the lamb. So you want to, if you do have an encounter, immediately abort the seed. Don't let their seeds grow in you. Don't ever forget the purpose of these spirits coming is to impregnate you. So with every encounter, you must immediately abort the seed. Immediately abort the seed. Do not let whatever they have planted in you continue to be nurtured and grow inside of you so that you end up giving birth to more evil and more sin in your life. So that is really, really important. Uh, number three, do not ever let an attack carry on without challenging the spirits. When an attack begins, say verbally and out loud something like, I know what you are and what you are here for. I renounce you in the power of the blood of Yeshua. My body does not belong to you. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And I command you to leave me right now in Yeshua's name. I do not receive your seed into me and I will not give birth to your offspring of evil. And that's just an example of something that you can say. Now, this segment is coming to a close. You can see I'm very passionate talking about this deliverance. Uh, so I'm going to record the next session right away um, and, um, and get it posted up 
but we are going to have complete victory and deliverance in this area uh, if you can apply these deliverance steps. This is Dr. Intimacy. Thanks so much for joining. Look forward to you connecting with me again on the next Insights from Dr. Intimacy webcast.